and uh, welcome back to Round on the Bikes Base Camp. We're here in the in the garage, and uh, I've had uh, a couple of questions uh, over the years, really. Uh, if I had any video of service on my Tenere, my Betty, and I I have some videos what I've done with her, but I don't have like a proper a whole service video so I thought I'd make one I, I thought I'd make one last year sometimes and and I forgot to film it so and it's pretty quickly done so so anyway now we're doing it and we have here um, we have a oil filter we have oil we have a spark plug we have coolant we have air filter we have chain lube so that's what I'm doing today anyway and obviously you can do other stuff while you're servicing but that's what I'm doing today. I'm driving this, I'm riding this uh, bike every day, all year around almost. So I do this continuously. I, I change filter oil and all these things. And so it's, but now I'll do everything in one go and you can tag along. I'll start with the oil filter and oil uh, just to give that a little bit of a time to to drain and while it's draining I can do some other stuff like spark plugs and things so first of all we take the bash plate off so we get a little bit more uh, access So once that is gone, we get access to draining the oil. So I'm choosing to um, loosen the peg a little bit, just because I want to be able to get to the drain quite easily. And uh, I want to keep the bucket so that it catches all the oil and I don't get anything down on the floor, it's simply simply for that reason here we go so trying to catch all the oil in the bucket also be careful there is a washer and you want to catch that washer and not let it fall into the uh, bucket And I managed to catch the washer because that's how good I am. So when we're draining the oil, we want to open the oil lid on top here. So it goes a little bit easier to for you get air in from the top, it drains quicker down the bottom. Right, so we're taking the oil filter out now and obviously we need to have something to protect the floor here as well. We don't get a big spray out of this one, so we don't need like cover here. So the, the tray on the floor should be enough. So the old oil filter, yeah, it looks pretty disgusting actually. So it's about time to change that one out. Uh, we'll dry this um, out and clean it up everything a little bit. New oil filter, put everything together again. Check the O-ring obviously. So 
So we have a new original uh, oil filter. <coughs> Make sure that this O-ring is okay. Looks neat and nice. I just I just tighten these ones until they just touch. And then I just tighten them like a little bit on each around. I don't know how important that is, but there is an O-ring and uh, it feels better to do it that way. And that's exactly the right torque. There is the right torque. And there is the right top. Wicked. Cool. So we put the um, drain plug in then. And then we fill up the oil again. Okay, so I'm using the uh, 10W40. Uh, for the climate we have here and for what I'm doing, I think that's good. So I have measured out, I know how much I have here. And I have measured up. 2.7 liters here which is about 2.7 liters it's a little bit less than 2.7 liters so I can stop and then start measuring every time I use this funnel I want to just uh, clean it up a little bit inside because you never know what lands in it while while I'm not at home and the other bikes are having parties here in the base camp and there's also this little uh, grid here like a protecting oh there is something actually dog's hair and shit yeah you want to like just make sure that the sift here is you know fairly clean and uh, yeah you're good to go hopefully <laughs> And then uh, we're gonna have to top it up a little bit in a minute, but for now. So what I do now, I start the engine, I loosen this plug here to air the system. So it's loose. Clean that up a little bit. Not like it's not gonna get dirty soon, but still, why leave it? All right, so that's that. All right, air filter. Uh, the odds are that we don't really need to change the air filter. We might be getting away with cleaning it out. Also, I have a compressor with uh, compressed air, so. Uh, but I always keep air filters with me when I'm traveling. And here in the garage, I have a, a stock actually, and I just need, I just want, I like to keep stuff uh, spare and redundancy. So we're gonna open up and see if we need to change it or if we need to clean it.
get away with the air filter and just pull straight out like this. And uh, yes, I'm willing to admit that this has a little bit too many dead bugs in it. So this definitely has to be, I'm not going to clean this, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm keeping it like a spare if I need to, you know, desperately do something someday. But this is, um, it's getting changed. Right, when it comes to spark plug, I use the original um, tool because it fits in so nicely, it sticks up perfectly and uh, it's like it's what was made for this, which is probably what it was. So I have tried to get like, I, well, I couldn't find this for a while, so I bought other stuff and it couldn't get it to work really, it was difficult to get in and everything. So be careful with your original one, because that's the best one. So, I'll just get this one in. And it just fits perfectly. The other ones, if it's a little bit thicker, it's just a nightmare. And then I use my, my uh, wrench here, and it just comes straight loose. So, yeah, we're changing it. I have one anyway. So, guess what happened? As you saw, I was uh, checking uh, my phone and I, I got a text message from David and he said, uh, he just wrote, I feel like going for a ride. So I just stopped doing the maintenance and we went for a ride. So now it's evening and we've been out and it's a little bit dirty, but that's okay. Uh, we had a good time and uh, tell you, Another thing is that um, I was going to change the um, uh, the coolant. However, I just realized that I have already made a video where I changed the coolant. So I'm going to put a link at the end of this video to that video and you can have a look there and we sorted. So we did the service. We went for a ride. We had a good day. Win-win. If you like this video, uh, it would be great if you would uh, hit the like button, if you would um, uh, subscribe and you would uh, uh, hit that little bell button so that you get inform information when I uh, add some new videos on the channel. Uh, yeah, that's it for today and um, 